So there we're going to be demonstrating orbits. And the routine views for orbits will be Caldwell, water, and lateral. It's very similar to facial bones. The only difference will be how we adjust our collimation. So we're going to have our patient uh, to lay down on their stomach. And we're going to use a full body shield. <coughs> <laughs> Step on it myself and it makes all fall. Okay, can you scoot down towards your feet for me just a little bit? Mm -hmm. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is going to be the call of you. So, have you put your forehead on the table? Okay. I'm just going to verify and judge that her head is straight on the table. And then we're going to have the OML perpendicular to the IR. So, the orbit, orbital meatal line should be perpendicular. And then we're going to have um, get the ink pen and we're going to place it. Since the ray should exit at the nasion, so I'm just going to put my pen there. That way I can open up my collimation. I'm going to center at the level of the, uh, of the nasion, so my pen should be on, or my collimation should in, enter at the pen there, and at the MSP. So that's, I'm sorry, it's entering at the level of the nasion, which my, is indicated by my pen, is what I should have said. And I'm going to move my pen out of the way. Now, what we're going to do as far as collimation, we're going to collimate uh, just to the skin margins, but it's going to be a tighter collimation, just to the level of the orbits. Okay, and then I'm going to put my left marker right here, so it's just in it without obstructing. And the technique for this is going to be 77 uh, kV center cell. We used a 10 by 12, and it's lengthwise. Now the petrous ridges on this view here should be in the lower one third of the orbits. And so this is our uh, Caldwell view. Now we're going to do our water view. We're going to take the angle off. I'm going to recenter to my film. Recenter a lot. Okay. And then we're going to have the patient put your chin on the table for me. And I'm going to tuck your chin down just a little bit. A little bit more. Right there. Then I'm going to try and get the uh, MML perpendicular here to the IR. I'm going to make sure her head is straight. Then I'm going to make sure uh, to put my pen here to show that we're going to exit at the level of the acantheon. Turn my collimation back on, and we're going to move the patient. Put it right on my pen, and I'm going to make sure I'm at the MSP. And my collimation, again, is going to be to the skin margins, and it's going to be tight up and down just to the orbits. Of course, I'm going to move my pen. Got room here now for my marker. Now, this should put the petrous ridges below the maxillary sinuses. Our technique is going to be the same. It's going to be about 77 kV center cell. We're still centered to our film. And this is our water's view for orbits. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to be our lateral. Uh, a lot of times this is done for foreign bodies prior to an MRI. So we're going to ask the patient if there's an injury to the eye or if they possibly have metal in one eye over the other. So we're going to go ahead and do our right lateral on this patient. So if you'll turn your face to the side. Of course, we've got to have to go through the progression of the uh, IPL being perpendicular to the IR, the MSP being parallel, the IOML should be perpendicular to the front edge, and then our centering is going to be between the outer canthus and the uh, outer canthus and the EAM. That's at the level of the orbit. Our collimation will be uh, pretty tight. I'm going to change and put my right marker here. Now the technique does change a little bit. Film, it's going to be about 70, uh, 66 to 70 kV. Our film size stays the same. It is 10 by 12 and it stays lengthwise. And so uh, now we can make our exposure. And these are our three views for our 
orbits.